going on guys Zonk the cat here coming at you once again I want to big give a big shout out to all my newest subscribers thank you very much for hitting that red button and thank you very much for hitting that like button as well <clears throat> to all the people who are not subscribers there's a very high chance you have a small dick and to all my female subscribers if you are subscribed guess what you are drop dead gorgeous let's get into this which queen what are my thoughts what is my review well I'm not a fanboy I'm not afraid of anybody especially some dipshit saying he was gonna fucking uh, threaten my channel so with that being said I absolutely loved it don't get me wrong I have my problems with Destiny. Certain things about Witch Queen I don't like. A lot of things I do like. And the story was just great in my opinion. I thought it was awesome. Download was a little iffy. Is <laughs> on one of uh, one of my systems. It took. Uh, it took me actually going into the uh, download menu to uh, actually uh, get the uh, download to download to the system each individual piece <coughs> which was um, three pi uh, three pieces worth and each uh, one of I think the, the first big one was like maybe uh, 10 uh, 10 gigs and then it was uh, 30 or 40 gigs and then the next one was about another uh, 60 gigs I think it was a total of about 120 gig game uh, DLC but other than that we jumped into it yeah you know, man buddy jumped in did storyline for some reason it wouldn't let me add my buddy right off the bat to do the uh, the first story mission and that kind of bothered me a bit when it said add team member and I couldn't do it but other than that I really really enjoyed the storyline I enjoy the architecture I think the new um, the new drop zone that you have is colorful. It's cool looking. Uh, some of the shit that they do come up with in Destiny, you know, uh, so especially some of the architecture for the background is just phenomenal. Just like all Destiny uh, drop zones, you know, the architecture is great. I love it. So, I guess you're waiting for me to piss all over it. There's not too many things I have to bitch and complain about about um, uh, Witch Queen so far. I mean, there's one big issue that I have with every DLC that they do. Well, every major DLC they do for Destiny is that all the work that you did. I mean, all of it. The grinding, the pain in the ass missions and all kind of other shit to get to you know like uh, uh, 1354 what's what which what I was before which queen dropped and all of a sudden now everybody's a 1350 even your enemies are 1350 so you go into the game everything's a red bar everything is stupid hard to fucking kill and everything can kill you in a moment's notice and even as I'm playing the game now and you know I'm a 1510 now the uh, the game has certain characters even on just a regular level you know the uh, the little douchebags of big yellow bar motherfuckers that run around they're like uh, uh, a 1560 that's way way out of your to do you can't kill the thing by yourself because you're only the the uh, the, the seasonal cap is a, uh, a 1330 well sorry a 1530 so how are you supposed to kill something that is way the fuck above you unless you have like maybe five or six people running around with you and that makes no sense either because you can't do any fucking strikes. My other bitching complaint is is that 
you can't go and do any lost sectors right off the bat. As soon as you, um, you know, are able to do free roam and whatnot, you're not able to go and do any lost sectors at all. If you try, you'll get annihilated. Just the simplest of enemies are so powerful at that point, you can't do anything. You can't touch them, you can't beat them, you can't do anything to them, because they'll f just turn around, stick it straight up your ass. Other issues I have, it, it, like I said, with the, with the balanced gaming part, drives me nuts. If, if you can't have balanced gaming, there's no point. Yes, you rank up fast, but you got to play the uh, the story missions to do that. And playing story missions, it's great, but I'm kind of like a, a whole Saints Row, I don't know, Saints Row, GTA type player. As soon as the main story's mission over, I want to explore. I can't fully explore because every fucking enemy in the game is going to sit there and annihilate me if I come anywhere as close to him. That kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now, there is a certain mission in this game, and I'm probably going to do another video on that. <clears throat> Everybody remember God of War? Of course you do. If you've been playing video games long enough, You'll remember God of War just like everybody else does. The gauntlets in God of War. You remember the gauntlets with the little spinny bastards that would knock you off the edge and fucking throw you all, you know, throw you off in different directions and shit. There's this one fucking mission on here. This exotic uh, grenade launcher mission, and you got to take your little worm dude that you pick up pick up in the story mission. And you got to go and take him to different areas. Now, like I said, I'm going to do a video on this just by itself. But at the end of this fucking mission, the, I think it's the last mission, you got to take this little worm dude and you got to run it through a gauntlet of assholes. You have no guns, you have nothing. You got to jump hop skip and jump through all the spinny shit while getting shot at while defending uh, while defending yourself and while keeping your fucking worm alive while you getting timed at the same fucking time that's the kind of shit that really pisses me off <clears throat> what else do i have to say about witch queen um <laughs> Uh, oh boy, this is going to probably piss a lot of people off. I don't like the puzzles. I, I don't at all. I can't stand them. If I want to do puzzle puzzling, I'll play God of War. If I want to do, uh, you know, puzzling, I'll play, you know, an, an RPG like Horizon. To a certain degree, Horizon has the that has puzzles. I don't like puzzles in my FPS. I just don't. I think it's crap. You sit there. You, I, I play this game so I can run around and blow shit up. I want to kill people in interest. I want to kill. Sorry, I want to kill an enemies in interesting ways, like with the sunshot or the. Um, uh, Gravitron Lance. I want to freeze motherfuckers. I want to, you know, uh, uh, blow people out into the fucking void. I don't want to sit there forever in a goddamn day staring at some fucking runes that, you know, my. I, when I play games, I got blinders on. Okay? I don't see anything else. I just see shit that I want to blow up. Like when I used to play Call of Duty and shit. I just see shit that I want to blow up or kill. My mind is not focused on, hey, now you got to think about... Suffling... Uh, suffling... 
uh, solving puzzles. I don't want to solve, uh, solve a puzzle. So my mind had to quickly go from FPS mode to, hey, you got to solve a fucking puzzle mode. Really? They were just, and, and the, the uh, instructions for it were really vague when you came to the runes. The first couple of runes, I just said, fuck it, and spray and prayed the whole damn uh, uh, rune board, and was just like, okay, so this did this, and this did that. Didn't really pay attention to what I was hitting. Just sprayed and prayed, so the hell with it. Because I just wanted to move the fuck on with the story. I was tired of staring at the fucking um, uh, rune board. So, we, uh, you know, we just moved on from there. But the second time around, you had to do the rune board, and then you had all these pods, like six pods, on the uh, left and the right side of the screen. And it said, pick something out that was, you know, that looks different from all the others. And I'm like, I ain't paying attention to this. I've been awake for fucking, like, nine hours playing the goddamn game. I can barely pay attention to my, whether my dick is working or not. Why the fuck am I going to pay attention to this? So, you know, as I'm sitting there staring at it, I probably spent about, I don't know, 25 minutes on this rune shit. And just as I was about to fucking give up, my partner in crime, who's running the story with me, because, you know, we started Destiny together, we might as well finish it together. Oh, God, it's... She, uh, she finally figured it out, and I was just like, I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> I'm too tired for this shit. Yeah, my bladder's full. I, I, I don't feel like fucking with anything right now. I just want to go to bed. Well, I want to get this shit done and over with so I can go to bed. Because I, I thought at that point, where we're like really, really close to the end... Turns out, nah, 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 we weren't anywhere as close. <laughs> I mean, for real, we weren't. Um, we still had what? I think, how many room, rune rooms did we have left? I think it was three more rune rooms, I think. Two or three. But, you know, we, we had a blast doing it don't get me wrong but the rune rooms the whole puzzle thing just took a hundred mile an hour car and slowed it down to about two miles an hour and when you've been awake for nine hours your mind has been running at a hundred miles an hour like it is on the screen this is what we're doing basically throughout the entire board you know just running around kicking ass and then you get slowed down to like two miles an hour. There's rune shit. It just ruined the atmosphere, in my opinion. I was ruined of the immersion that I was in. And, you know, my mind just couldn't deal with it. I was so pissed off with having to solve a fucking puzzle. Now, the girl I was playing with at the time, she was more than happy to fucking do this because she has the mind for shit like that. I don't. I'm really, really impatient. You either fucking, you know... I, I, when I'm going at 100 miles an hour, I want to continue going at 100 miles an hour. I don't want to have to constantly slow down to like a mile an hour for the fucking game to keep, you know, to keep up with my head. But with the runes, that just drove me batshit. I, I can't stand the runes. Other than that, don't get me wrong, I had a fucking blast. There are some enemies that just don't make a lick of sense. But I will say this, though. The addition, I was wondering how they were going to do the hive ghosts. I really was. Because when I saw the, um, the trailers for the hive ghosts, I was wondering how they were going to implement it. I was hoping they weren't going to fuck it up. And they didn't. I, oh, I loved the Hive Ghosts. Absolutely great. Is that the fact you can run in and you can kick the ever-loving shit out of them? I mean, just 
annihilate them. Then you reach in, grab the hive ghost, and you crush it in your hand. It's really, really, really satisfying. So, really enjoyed that. The only big problem I had with the, with the hive uh, ghosts and anybody who has the hive ghosts is that on the fly they can switch between powers so they can switch between solar void or arc on the fly we can't do that on the fly that just kind of pisses me off a little helping hand to a person there we can't like if we're running arc we can't flip over to solar and then immediately use it we can't do that that pisses me off this game breaks its own rules and I don't like that is that the fact that the uh, hive like this dude right here shooting solar he could he could switch over to uh, void if he wanted to and they run uh, the, the, the that that's a whole other fucking video the way that these motherfuckers run I've never liked that in um, in destiny on how the enemies run that really pisses me off but <clears throat> see how difficult this motherfucker is you want to see why he's so difficult is because the son of a bitch is a 1560 he is, a he is higher than the seasonal fucking power cap. The seasonal power cap for the Witch Queen is uh, 1530, I think it is. Or 1520. 1530, yeah, 1530. That motherfucker was a 1560. I have not seen anybody that fucking that high in a power cap since Destiny first came out. But back to what I was saying about, um, oh, what the fuck was I saying? The game needs balance. To what my original point, the game needs balance. And that the fact that you haven't got balance in it, rock, another rock. <laughs> The game has not got balance at all. And it needs it. Big time. If a game had balance, it would I would have fully agree with the fanboy you would have perfection. <clears throat> but an unbalanced game is can get very annoying. And I will demonstrate how fucking annoying with the um with the exotic grenade launcher mission that you have to do. That fucking... It's not just one mission. The goddamn thing is about... I don't know what... Six or seven... No, seventeen. Seventeen missions long. It gets so fucking goddamn boring and annoying and such a pain in the ass. You just... Want to just up and quit. You just, that's what you want to do. So, <clears throat> would I suggest you buying Witch Queen? Oh, hell yes. The story is great. Absolutely great. I love the architecture. I love fucking killing the hive ghosts. Just reaching out and snatching it and crushing it in your hand. That's just, oh, that's so satisfying. Discovering Savathun, killing Savathun, that was even better. <laughs> because the bitch is annoying. Get, get it right. The, the, the bitch does get really fucking annoying after a while because she just taunts you all through the fucking game with these little things and then she just basically fucks you right up the ass at some point. <coughs> uh, at, at a few points in the... Um, and the uh, and the end game, she just really sticks it up your ass. So my review, N uh, out of a score of ten, I would give it an eight. 
it's not perfect because I don't like the whole fucking ranking system and I do not like the uh, whole puzzle solving shit. Um, <clears throat> there is a few uploading issues, but eh, that's something I can look over because Destiny's always had fucking uh, jittery bullshit with their fucking loading crap. So yeah, I would definitely suggest this. But make sure you upgrade yourself before you get to the uh, get to the end. Make sure you know you upgrade yourself before you even start doing any exploration. Or you're gonna just get fucking annihilated and get your ass handed to you. All right, guys. Like I said, eight out of ten. Definitely give it a buy. Definitely give it a chat. Uh, check it out. To all my subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. Make sure you hit the right, uh, the red like button down there and the like button and share my videos. And I'm Zombie Cat, and I'm out.